Yeah. Okay, guys, come on in a little closer here. I want to talk to you guys a little bit today about uh, reclamation. Protecting our creeks from damage, basically. Now, as you guys were digging down here in this creek, we ended up creating a lot of these little holes. Little holes just like that along the creek. Now, one of the rules about gold panning is that you're supposed to fill in your holes behind you. So a hole like this right here, we should take rocks and gravel and fill it in. The re there's a couple of reasons behind that. Uh, to start with, they want to watch out for fish. As creeks go up and down in level, the water levels go up and down, we don't want any of these holes that can trap water away from the flowing creek. Because a fish could go in there, it could get trapped away from the creek and then die, overheat and die. So we want to take these holes here and fill them in so fish can't get caught. It's also a bit of a hazard for walking around the creek for both humans and animals to have uh, holes that they could fall in. Now my general rule of thumb is if the hole is any deeper than the natural rocks around it, for instance, looking down here, we have a rock that's about six inches high. If the holes around it are more than about six inches deep, we need them filled in. If you're working around rocks that are two feet high, a hole that's about a foot deep is going to be okay. But typically we want to fill in most everything that's down in the creek level because we don't want those fish to get trapped. Also, you may notice uh, piles left behind. Let's have a look at this one here. Piles of gravel left behind where you've been classifying. Those aren't a problem in any way environmentally. They're not going to hurt fish or animals or any problem at all. But aesthetically, they look kind of out of place. And what you want to do is you want to bring a river back to the way it looked before you got there. So a little pile like this, we should probably just get in there, move the shovel, and knock it down. Get it down so it's flat again. The first rainfall on top of that, it'll look natural again. Some people down river were creating little dams in the river was helping them dig holes and whatnot. You really shouldn't leave dammed up spots in the river because fish can't get by them. So when you're done, and we'll do this next time guys, no problem. When you're done, just take that dam and break it so the water flows through it nicely. We don't have any up here to show you, but down below, we got some good ones sort of blocking the water down there. Just take a section of those, kick it out so the water flows through. Another thing I haven't talked about uh, to deal with sort of the maintaining the environment here is we're not supposed to dig into the greenery around the creek. There's a section that's 10 meters wide from the edge of the high water mark up into the bank for 10 meters where you're not supposed to touch. So anything below the high water mark, say right here, down, that's fine to dig in. Anything above the high water mark from here up into the greenery, you're not supposed to touch. It's called the riparian zone and it's a zone where they want to keep the creek natural for a few different reasons. As the water runs through, they don't want the rush of water eroding away the banks anymore and the greenery holds it in place. So it helps that uh, bank stay intact. Also, animals will use that zone as a safety zone. So it protects them from predators and whatnot. So we want to keep it for the animals. Also, the trees above create a lot of shade. And rivers don't want to get overheated in any way. Dylan, pay attention. Rivers don't want their water getting too hot, so the shade of the trees uh, protects them. So you're not allowed to go and cut trees down or dig into those banks where it might disrupt that greenery. Up above the 10 meter mark, up above 10 meters away, you're allowed to dig. And you're allowed to cut down trees, well, you're allowed to affect the greenery and stuff, dig holes up there. Uh, because it's far enough away from the creek that you're not going to affect that creek when you're 10 meters away. 
There are rules about how many trees and what size trees you're allowed to cut down, but you're not just going out there with hack and slash trees all over the place. Okay, so a few rules here about uh, what we can and cannot dig. You cannot dig above high water. You can dig below high water. If you're panning, if you're running a high banker, you have to be away 10 meters away from the creek. You can't, you can't work down here uh, unless your water can stay away from the creek. So we'll talk a lot more about high bankers later, but for panning, below the high water, don't touch that greenery at all. Pick up any garbage. Pick up, oh, garbage is the net, well, last thing. You want to leave with everything you came with, not leaving anything behind. And for us here, we want to do even better than that. This place is a bit of a garbage pile. <laughs> and as we leave today, I want everyone here to pick up one piece of garbage that they didn't come with and take it away with us. And we're just going to we're going to make the creek a prettier place. Make the environment better by taking a bit of garbage with us today. Don't stand in the water. Okay guys, grab one piece of garbage. I'm going to take attendance and we're going to head back. Thank you.